Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sierra for those of you who are new here and if you're an old subscriber, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about some video ideas to do for Vlogtober as Vlogtober is going to be here before you know it, but I'm going to go ahead and give you guys these tips so that you guys can start creating your videos very soon. For those of you who don't know what Vlogtober is, Vlogtober is where you vlog every day in the month of October. You can choose to do Monday through Friday only, or you can also choose to do every single day. But Vlogtober is just where you guys are going to vlog and post what it is you are getting into like I said, for the month of October. So in October, of course, it is fall. It's all about Halloween. You're getting ready to get ready for Thanksgiving. Um, you also are getting ready for those holidays coming up and you know, you're getting ready for um, a change of weather. So as you can see, I have my change of weather clothing on because it is gonna start getting colder outside and it is going to definitely um, change definitely going to change so I have my handy dandy notebook with all of my ideas written down on here for you so that you all can write them down as well and make sure that you guys are getting really great video ideas so for today's video I definitely have 30 plus video ideas for you guys to do you guys can make these any kind of way that you want to i just thought i'd share so video idea um that i thought of first was um to do on day one or you could do day before if you want to since there's more than um one you know more than 30 ideas that i'm giving is you can do your fall vlogtober intro yes your intro can go for one the first day just to show people what it is they're going to be seeing when they come over to your channel for vlogtober um so we also have fall favorite fall scents like you guys can easily go to bath and body works buy some candles pop fall perfume and share what your favorite scents were during the fall uh, you could do a bake with me where you're showing, um, you know, whether you want to go live or whether you're putting the video out um, and scheduling it for that day. Like I said, going live would probably not be such a good idea. Um, for me, it wouldn't because then I'm having to make sure I'm measuring, make sure I'm putting in the right ingredients um, and also tending to my audience but it's totally your choice. Um, you can do a fall tour of, you know, like your decorations in your house, or you can go and show people around the city that you live in, um, or you can do a decorate with me. You also can do a eating Halloween treats, which you can eat sweets for 24 hours. So eating Halloween treats slash sweets for 24 hours um, might be a, might be a really good idea <laughs> um, fall traditions show people what it's like for fall how do you celebrate for fall um, you know you could do a fall day in my life vlog definitely if you go to a, a pumpkin patch or if you go to um, a place that's holding an activity for you and your family or for yourself um, you also can do a Dollar Tree haul your Dollar Tree haul can show what fall things you got um, this also could be a separate video, so you could do a Dollar Tree haul and then also do decorate with me. So you can choose to do two videos or you can choose to do one. You also can do a front porch de um, decor slash setup. Uh, for those of you who have porches, those of you who have areas that you guys can decorate and no one's going to mess with, go ahead and show it off for YouTube so other people can get great ideas. You also can do a wreath making. Um, a lot of people do like to have fall um, wreaths hanging up at their doors or in somewhere in their house, but it's easy to show someone how to make a wreath. Um, and the making wreaths at holiday time is really a great thing to do as well. You also could do a treat with me 
where you can show them that, you know, you going out trick or treating, um, you know, you can host a little get together, a get together, um, and show, you know, you guys hanging out, trick or treating, or doing something together as families, couples, whatever. So the next one I have is you can eat orange for 24 hours. So it's a challenge to eat only things that are orange for 24 hours. I don't know what that would do, but it'd be worth a try. <laughs> uh, so you can also do a topic for fall um, and then like do a mukbang. So, you know, do, you know, sit down and eat something, talk about fall topics and go from there. You can also have a fall date night in. Instead of going out, you guys can create a date night inside, fall themed, um, you know, where you have decor, show off your, you know, what wine you're drinking, show off the food that you're eating, and, you know, show what movies you're gonna be watching for that night. You also can do a this or that fall edition. You can collab with other people on it. Um, you definitely can either do it to where you do yours and then you tag someone to go next or you can easily go live with this one um, and challenge people to come onto your panel through StreamYard um, and you guys can just simply rotate in and out asking questions this or that. Would you rather eat pumpkin pie or apple pie? Just as simple as that. You also can do a pumpkin patch fun where you guys can show you guys going to the pumpkin patches with your families um, or if you want to go by yourself and pick something out for your kiddos or your family, you can do that as well. So I also have favorite Halloween movies. A lot of people want to know what movies you're watching or what are your favorite movies for Halloween to watch. That way they can watch them if they haven't already. I also have a Halloween reaction video. This Halloween reaction video definitely find some something scary and try to you know or find something that you haven't watched before and just do a reaction off of it and like see are you gonna get scared are you not gonna get scared but a lot of people love to see other people's reactions for sure um, I also have written down a Halloween tag a Halloween tag is just simply where you answer questions that have to do with Halloween and then once again you're just going to tag them and they can come back with a video and answer those tags. So I also have fall fashion lookbooks. Fall fashion lookbooks are amazing. A lot of people want to know what are you wearing, how are you styling your outfits, what boots are you wearing, what long sleeve shirts are you wearing. Um, definitely love to do lookbooks for every season because I never know if I've already worn that outfit together, I want to go back and, you know, like double check. So that type of thing. Um, another one I have written down is your favorite warm beverage. You guys can easily make this or you can go to wherever it is you like to uh, get your favorite warm beverages from and show it off. Show how they made it, show what they put in it, you what you put in it and just go from there. Or you can create a whole um, little video of different clips of the favorite beverages that you like. So next I have fall essentials. What are the essentials that you need for fall? I know for sure a lot of people should have in their videos some hot chocolate. Next on my list, I have a fall AM and PM routine. A lot of people love to see when the time changes, how people get into the routine of the AM and the PM, um, especially during the fall when the weather starts to change. Um, and then of course, when time starts to change. I next have a carving pumpkin um, and like a competition. So blog yourself, carving pumpkins, you and your family, and then show it off like, or you can do it as a competition. Uh, if you are a family of three, family of four, go ahead and carve those pumpkins. See, you know, who gets done the fastest, which one looks best. You can even ask your audience here on YouTube. So next I have Halloween costume lookbooks. You easily can go to the store, try costumes on. That is one of the things that I used to love before COVID hit. Going into the stores and trying on costumes to see if they actually fit, if I'm actually going to like them, and if they actually look good on me 
before buying it and getting all the way home $30, $40 later. So I also have a random October, uh, random Vlogtober day. So you guys can easily toss out there, uh, Vlogtober day 10, I went to the grocery store. These are just random Vlogtober vlogs and there's nothing wrong with those. Next, I have a Halloween food versus real food challenge. This one, I would really love to try this year for Vlogtober. Um, so yes, I am participating in Vlogtober for sure. Um, now that I um, like to go live and I'm not nervous and I'm actually like comfortable with it, I do plan to go live more often. So definitely try to go live um, if you can, you know, try to do certain things. Um, next is a what's in the box Halloween edition. Guys, get a, a, brown, a brown box, cut it open, and just allow like enough room for a hand to go through. Get a blindfold or a scarf or something so that you guys can easily put the scarf around someone's eyes and they can just stick their hands in and feel around. And they have to tell you what they think it is, even if it is gross. So next here on my list, I have a get ready with me Halloween edition. When you guys get ready to go out for Halloween and you wanna get dressed up and you wanna put your costume on, do a get ready with me. People would love to see how you got ready for Halloween. Next on my list, I have a fall do it yourself where you guys can easily create wreaths. Um, you know, how did you do something yourself? Like a do it yourself project. I know a lot of people who have kids take their kids outside, get leaves from the ground and like color them. That's a do it yourself. Um, and then they make different projects with them. Next on my list is try not to get scared challenge. Definitely um, try not to get scared challenge is something that a lot of people I think might try this year. Look it up. Last on my list of vlogtober ideas is to go live one thing i'll say to you guys is going live is nothing wrong with it it's perfectly okay and the same way i'm talking to you guys now in this video is the same way you go live you just don't get to see people on the other end you're just reading comments so definitely my encouragement for vlogtober is if you're ever behind on a video to put out for the day, just go live. Even if it's for 10 to 15, 20 minutes, just go live. And that's your video for the day. Um, if you're out in the community, go live and show something off. You could go to Starbucks and, and get two or three fall drinks and sit down and go live and share what you think of these three drinks right there. It's just as simple and plain. So yep. Those are my ideas for Vlogtober 2022. Be sure to leave a comment down below of what idea you really want to try this year for Vlogtober if you're participating. But also comment down below which one you would love to try for any day in October. So thanks guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you guys give this video a thumbs up and I hope that you guys are subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out on another video as well as being sure that you're here for every single day in Vlogtober. Thanks for watching.